is live in West Houston with that story. What do you know, Vicente? Well, Greg, the school day was just about to end here when all the students were abruptly rounded up and locked down. I want to show you some pictures now that were taken by Air 11. It flew over the school late this afternoon. Many of the students were just standing outside Bush Elementary looking at an HFD hazmat truck and other emergency workers. They were called to the school after the principal noticed a suspicious letter in the office. It was not opened. HFD checked it out and did not find anything dangerous. Now, let's go to the incident an earlier in the day to Crockett Elementary near downtown. It did have a white powdery substance. The school's AC system was shut down and students there also put on lockdown. A source tells me it contained a note that said Al Qaeda's out to get you. The FBI says preliminary tests show that the powder did not pose a danger. Still, some students we talk to, they get really frightened when incidents like these happen scared and so then they then the principal and vice principal came outside and they said that we all had to go back into our classroom and then we were like really scared we were out at recess and um, we were just about to leave and our teachers told us to quickly get inside and they gave us a note what did you think when you saw the fire truck show up uh, my friends and i were like creeped out <laughs> The FBI tells me it's now doing additional tests to confirm that, in fact, there was nothing dangerous inside those envelopes. And they also want to try to figure out if they can find out who sent them and whether they were a hoax or a threat. But any time a school gets something like this, they treat it as a potential threat. Greg? You're exactly right. And Vicente, we know that some schools in the Dallas area had similar instances yesterday. Does the FBI believe that there possibly could be a connection? I talked with them about that this afternoon. They say they are certainly checking to see if perhaps there are any connections or if perhaps they were just circumstantial or just a coincidence, but certainly they're taking a very close look at what happened in Dallas yesterday and what happened here in Houston today. Reporting live from the West Side, HOU 11 News. All right, Vicente, thanks.